Welcome to Firearms of America. Today I am doing something completely brand new that I have been requested by you guys for a while. I am doing the top 10 best hiking boots that I have reviewed so far. Well, not really so far, in 2019, because it can't really be so far because 2019 is over. Yes, now, of course, the negative side of this is that I have not been able to review all of the hiking boots that are available out there this is just my personal preference just what i had you know my hands on but the biggest plus of this is that i actually tested each and every boot myself so if you are not familiar with my channel and how i do boot reviews let me briefly give you a little bit of an introduction before we get into the actual boots so this section, this boot section, is specifically for my ultimate survival boots section. Basically, if these boots were not just your regular hiking boots, but something really bad happened. And, you know, 2020 been kind of crazy, so you can imagine something crazy happening. And that was the last pair of boots that you put on, or you were wearing, you were hiking, or doing whatever, and something bad happened, and now you have to run, jump, fight, do, I don't know, whatever is necessary to survive. What are the best boots out there? And I test all of the boots equally on this channel. First, I test them for the comfort level. I do a three mile run without stopping and then a five mile walk again without stopping to test the comfort level. I check the weight, uh, all of the dimensions to make sure I can wear it for at least seven or eight hours without taking the boots off, just seeing how they handle. Now, the second criterion that I test all the boots by is proofing and protection. Basically, here I discuss if the boots are waterproof, if they offer sufficient amount of protection in the toe box, in the heel area, and on the ankles and stuff like that. Then we get to the uh, criterion number three, which is the quality and the design features. Obviously, we talk about the quality, uh, judged by the Amazon reviews, the amount of the reviews, the amount of negative reviews, positive reviews, stuff like that. Obviously, the quality itself, how it feels, how the boots feel out of the box, design features, like for example, the lacing system, stuff like that. Criteria number four is the outsole traction and stability. Obviously, this is again another test that I do while running and walking. I test all of the boots on the variety of different surfaces. I test them on tarmac, older asphalt, wet grass, dry grass, wet sand, dry sand. Whenever it comes to winter boots, I test them in the snow and ice, colder temperatures. And of course, I test all of the boots on surfaces like regular trail surface and some flat surfaces like marble and tile. And then I test them in the temperature. Again, you know, different boots. If it's a winter boots, I test them in colder temperature. If it's not, then obviously in a hot temperature because I live in a hot temperature I'm from Florida. And then a quick number six criterion is the sizing if they're true to the size or not. Criteria number seven, the balance of application. Basically, if that was your last survival boot, you know, ultimate survival boot, would, they, would that be a good boot or not? And then we get into the very last criterion, price, and discuss if it's a good option for that price or if there are some other good things in that price range. So, let's get into the top 10 now that you are familiar with everything i am doing this is not just something that i pulled up from online lists something that looks good and something i've read somewhere no these boots i've tested personally myself let's get into it boots number 10 best boots number 20 of 2019 dunham Cloud. Now, Dunham, they were uh, a newer boot to me. I never I never tested that brand before and I was really impressed. They're great hiking boots. They're midsize, which I do personally prefer. I think midsize is a great balance between protection and, and lightness. They are lightweight. They're very comfortable. The outsole was fairly balanced, providing decent amount of traction and stability. However, I felt like it was more oriented on flat surfaces, kind of like marble and tile. So it was sort of slip resistant in a way, which is not very usual for a hiking boot, but nevertheless, it performed fairly well, except for the wet grass. It was a little bit of 
slippery on the wet grass. And obviously I wouldn't recommend these boots for winter uh, because they're not really designed to withstand colder temperatures and they're not really stable on the ice. Keep that in mind. But, but being the 100% leather, being waterproof, and of course, for the price of $145 currently on Amazon, all of the links are in the description below, I thought it was a pretty, pretty good deal. And judging by Amazon reviews, currently over 1,200 positive reviews, which is very, very impressive. They were pretty good. All right, so let's move on to the number nine, top best hiking boot of 2019, Keen Targi. Two. Now, that was another boot that I was really, really impressed. Also, 100% leather, also waterproof, also mid-size. I thought it was a little bit of an upgrade to Dunham whenever it came to the outsole because it offered a little bit of a better balance between slippery surfaces and, you know, surfaces where you need more flatness and surfaces where you need more aggression. And at the price of only $127, so sufficiently, pretty decently <laughs> cheaper than Dunham, I think it's a very, very good deal. And right at this actual moment, as, as I'm making this video, actually, there is a coupon code on Amazon to save $30 of the price. So you can get this booth under $100, which I personally think 127 is a great price, but under $100 for these boots, absolutely, absolutely amazing, amazing price. I think personally that they did this because they released the Targi 3 version, which I also tested, but not in 2019, in 2020, which was also great. Um, personally, I would pick the two. I kind of like the two, just the comfort level overall. I was more impressed with the two, but again, your decision if you want to, you know, Check out the version three. All right, so let's move on to the top best hiking boots 2019, number eight. And these are, surprisingly, Skechers. Yes, Skechers. Now these boots I got by complete accident. Yeah, I didn't think that I would ever have Skechers reviewed on, on this channel. And uh, well, I got them and I was very, very impressed. I was so impressed that I actually got myself a pair. Yes. Uh, <laughs> now, these are the cheapest boots on this list that you will see. And I think that's one of the reasons why I believe it deserves to be on this list. Besides being the cheapest one, they're also, they don't really, you know, they don't lack comfort. They don't lack lightness, although they're a little bit on the heavier side. And of course, they don't really lack the features, they are waterproof and they have an excellent outsole, which is more on the flatter side. So it's not a lot of aggression, but still for that price for only $56, I think it's, it's a very, very impressive price and you're getting really a lot. So if you want to kind of get into hiking, but you're not sure, maybe you're only going to do it like once a month, nothing serious, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, but you still want to get a good boot. Check out the Skechers. Again, all the links are in the description below. These are Skechers, Realment Palmo. Yes, Chuka Boots, I know. Yes, weird name, don't ask me. Okay, so let's move on to the top best hiking boots 2019. Number seven, Under Armour Speedfeet 2.0. Yes, now guys, these, these kind of boots are my kind of boots. If you watched any of my reviews, any of my videos, you know that I prefer lightness and mobility over, you know, protection and, and bulkiness and all of the features like waterproofing all the bunch of stuff because with that stuff with all of those features you add to the weight and I prefer for my ultimate survival boot to have more mobility less restriction of, of the movement because obviously if you if you have a heavier boot it's harder for you to move around and these are exactly these Under Armour boots the Speedfeet 2.0 are exactly the kind of things that I like they are still considered mid-size. They don't offer a lot of protection whenever it comes to the ankles. It's literally just a cover. But, but nevertheless, with the lightweight, how lightweight they are and how comfortable they are, I was very impressed. But, 
But besides that, I wanted to tell you guys, these boots have one of the best outsoles that I have tested on this channel. Now, it's very basic, but it is just a perfect balance between the aggression and balance. So check it out. Again, the link is in the description below. Currently, they go for about $100 to $130, and they have more than 430 positive ratings on Amazon, which is very impressive. So a lot of people like them and well, well, definitely well deserved. All right, let's move on to the number six on my best hiking boots 2019 list. These are the Denaire 453. Now, again, amazing ratings on Amazon, more than 540 ratings, positive ratings. They are on the pricier side, currently 200 bucks on Amazon, the link is in the description below. But let me tell you guys, whenever it comes to the quality, the build quality, I mean, these are probably the best build quality, is that the right sentence? Boots that I have reviewed on this channel. I mean, they're just built like a tank, absolutely beautifully. 100% full grain leather, Gore-Tex waterproofing now. We are getting into the pricier stuff and obviously pricier stuff usually does feature Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex membrane, if you're not familiar with it, this is a waterproofing technology uh, that offers uh, the waterproofing without sacrificing breathability, which is very important and without adding that much weight. Now, the comfort level of these boots is very, very impressive. I have to mention they are on the heavier side because of all the leather, because of all the protection and they do offer a lot of protection. I mean, the toe is nicely protected, the ankles, they do have uh, the shaft in the, you know, has enough cushioning to offer sufficient amount of protection. The heel is nicely protected and you have a very very thick out layer of the heavier, you know, harder rubber on, on the outsole to offer very, very good protection from the bottom in case if you step on something hard. So very durable, very nicely built, very comfortable, heavier, and more expensive boots from a great brand than there. Than there, they, they make awesome, awesome boots. All right, let's move on to the number five best hiking boots 2019 from Firearms of America. It's the Timberland Flume. Now, these are not the most popular boots on Amazon from Timberland. Uh, they only have 3,700 positive reviews. Now, there are actually another uh, model of Timberland boots on Amazon, which have over 20,000 reviews. However, you know, guys, I if I don't like something, I don't hold back and I say it as it is. I was not a fan of that model. The what was the name of it? I don't remember. White Ledge, I believe. I was not impressed with the comfort level. I was not impressed with the flexibility of the bottom sole. But, but. I think this Timberland Flume was a huge, huge upgrade. Now, very affordable. They start at about $100, from $100 to $120. Um, some of them, they go as high as $150, but that's just a, whenever they don't have colors, whenever they don't have the size that you need. So make sure you kind of wait around and usually whenever Amazon gets them in stock, they drop in price. So. You know, you can add it to your list and kind of watch it if you're interested. Uh, but they do offer waterproofing, extremely comfortable, excellent flexibility in the bottom sole, uh, very nice lacing system. Overall, I was just very impressed and definitely, definitely affordable. Plus a great brand, Timberland, why not? So let's move on to the number four best hiking boots 2019. And we are getting now into my favorite, Solomon's. And I give this spot to Solomon Quest 4D3 GTX, which is honestly one of my favorite boots. Just absolutely amazing boot. Full size now we are talking. This is a, not the mid-size anymore, full size. I, if, if there was one full size boot that I could pick out of whatever amount of boots, this is the one I would pick. Downsides, let's start with that, is the price. It is on the pricier side almost $230 currently on Amazon, uh, but over 1,000 positive ratings, well-deserved, extremely, extremely comfortable. Now, whenever it comes to the comfort level of Salomon boots, this is really something that you just have to experience. It's just really hard to 
pass that amazing feeling whenever you put your feet into Salomon boots and you realize that you feel more comfortable now in boots than you were without wearing anything. It's a weird feeling, but you have to try it. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic boots. Again, offer plenty of features. Gore-Tex waterproofing, unbelievably good outsole, amazing traction and stability. One of the best outsoles out there. Very, very comfortable, like I said, and they offer a very decent amount of protection. A little bit on the heavier side because they are full size, but, but, very, very good. Plus, their lacing system is just one of the best because they do have the locking lacing system basically that breaks the, the boot into kind of two sections of lacing, makes it much easier, much faster, and of course, allows more control um, of the tension whenever you're going up and down the hill. If you're more or less familiar with some decent uh, advanced hiking you know what exactly what I mean okay so let's move on to the number three best hiking boots 2019 from firearms for America It's under armor verge 2.0 now I think personally these are these are the upgrade from the under armor speed feet 2.0 because they're just as light just as comfortable but they do offer more protection way more protection actually <laughs> than the speed feed 2.0 uh, currently 165 dollars on amazon more than 140 positive ratings so definitely great boots and they are actually 100 percent waterproof gore-tex yes a fancy gore-tex technology was featured here same amazing amazing outsole which i absolutely love which is actually michelin rubber yes pretty cool just I love I absolutely love these boots one thing that I wanted to mention however is that they are these Under Armour Verge 2.0 are kind of of the verge it seems like of extinction on Amazon yes I don't know why but they don't have a lot of sizes they don't have a lot of color options so and even even the ones that I am looking at right now they say that only four are left in stock so if you're interested go ahead buy them now because they are not gonna last looks like all right let's get to the top best hiking boots 2019 from Fires for America the number two Columbia Newton Ridge plus two of course now if you guys watched any of my ultimate survival adventure videos you know that this is my number one choice yes well actually not videos but video there's only one episode so far episode two is ready about to be uploaded in the next coming couple of weeks so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button not to miss that in this number uh, episode number two I am actually wearing this Columbia Newton Ridge plus two through Appalachian Trail the, one of the hardest parts of Appalachian Trail in Smoky Mountains yes and it's pretty slippery stuff over there but they handle perfectly and that's why I love them but but here's the thing here is the thing they are only $80 on Amazon currently. Absolutely amazing, amazing price for everything that you are getting in this boot. And if you don't believe me, you can believe more than 7,700 positive reviewers <laughs> on this boot on Amazon. There are plenty of different colors and just i mean it's just absolutely fantastic boot it's really hard to explain how comfortable they are how great the lacing system is how great the waterproofing is and how awesome the outsole is one of the best outsoles that provides great traction and stability and all of this for only 80 dollars unbelievable i absolutely love this boots okay guys it's time to get into the number two it's time to end this get into the number one down with the number two let's get into the number one top best hiking boot of 2019 now if you watched any of my videos you already know which boot it is because i already did the ultimate survival boot of 2019 but here we go the ultimate survival boot the best hiking boot of 2019 that i have reviewed on this channel is salomon x ultra 3 gtx mid-size hiking boot now i absolutely love it it is everything everything that you can ask for 
extremely unbelievably comfortable just like i was telling about the other salomon boot yes you are getting all of that comfort in this boot probably even more because it's lighter weight because it's only mid-size the outsole traction stability is unbelievably great excellent balance between the flatness and aggression there is very sufficient amount of protection even though it is a mid-size boot you're not really sacrificing any protection because you do get a very harder piece rubber on the toe box you do have sufficient amount of padding in your shaft to protect your ankles of course you're getting the protection on the heel the reinforced heel and they do feature one of my favorite insoles which is the ortholite very comfortable very nice jelly feeling the lacing system is excellent and they are currently 160 dollars on amazon which is definitely on the pricier side yes it's double the price of the columbia that i have just mentioned but but you are getting more comfort you are getting gore-tex waterproofing you are getting really just an upgraded overall boot with upgraded outsole and from the brand that knows what they're doing whenever it comes to some serious serious hiking now salamons you don't just take them for your regular walk now if you're doing regular hiking i think you should go with one of the options before that the columbia the under armor the timberland they're all great but if you are doing something more serious you definitely need to look into the Solomons. So, thank you very much guys for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let me know if you know what boots you want me to review in uh, 2020. I have done so many reviews already, but I will do a lot more because we still have what? 3 4 5 months to go in this year my math is horrible i apologize in advance <laughs> but but let me know in the comments below what you want me to review and i'll put it on my to-do list and i'll try to get my hands on it to review it now i will link all of the individual reviews that are done for all of these books in the description below all the links are in the description below thank you very much guys for watching this was firearms of america and i'll see you guys in the next video